What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Sevilla career mode and this is going to be episode number five and it's going to be a big one because we are going to get all the way to the beginning of the January transfer window in this episode. We start with a game against Athletic Club here and I'm just going to show you the calendar that's going to be the end of our campaign this season in November. And then we're going to definitely get through all these four La Liga games and play this decisive game against Chelsea, which will decide first in the group. Make sure to watch all the other episodes before you watch this one, obviously, which will be in the top right corner. But if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and check out other videos on the channel. Or, you know, make some suggestions and I can come up with more content for you guys. And make sure to check the Twitch in the description. I try to stream there as much as I can and same in the Discord server. Okay. Let's get into this one. We're going to be starting with a game against Athletic Club here. And they are actually fifth right now. Um, I'll quickly show you the table. I uh, Just as a reference, we are fourth. Um, so we could drop down to fifth. Um, as, it, as I said, as I've been saying the whole entire series, Real Madrid, Barca, Athletic, they always get top three. And it's already formed like that one-third into the season. Sevilla versus Athletic Club. This will be a good way to start the episode, and let's get right into it. We are back in the Sevilla Stadium here. You can see the nice banner, Sevilla and 1890, and we are at home for match day number 14 here in La Liga. Oh my gosh, what a through ball here, and they might be through here. Here's Rashika. What a finish. They All they did was a through ball, and David De Gea, he can't be saving that. That's a perfect shot off the post and everything in the corner. I mean, Rakitic just gets caught there and Kunde kind of drags himself a bit wide and De Gea did really well actually, but that was just a perfect shot really. And we are down one nil in five minutes. Here's Jesus Navas. Maybe Jesus Navas can start something here. I'm actually trying to look for Gabriel Jesus through the middle. Is he onside? I have no idea, but Gabriel Jesus. And it's one, one. There we go, perfectly played ball from Jesus Navas to find Gabriel Jesus. Ivan Rakitic is completely through here. Ivan Rakitic, I'm gonna float this one up for Ocampos! Are you serious right now? Oh, that's a good ball. That's a very good ball through. I tried to play with Diego Carlos and it's 2-1. I kind of messed up there. I probably should have switched to Kunde earlier, but I was trying to switch with Diego Carlos and Diego Carlos just was slower there and he got out muscled and I could not get there in time or she got, gets himself a goal and maybe starting from what Kunde did on defense maybe that can lead to a goal here and here goes Gabriel Jesus and Gabriel Jesus responds to Pashika from Athletic Club and he grabs himself a brace and his ninth goal in La Liga this season and we have tied it up two to two yet again another through ball to Gabriel Jesus this is how he scores about all his goals Ivan Rakitic makes a nice ball through and he wins the ball up the pitch still an Akio it's a decent goal in Diego Carlos what's he done what has Diego Carlos done it's been the story. Diego Carlos has been terrible today. Julius Kunde has been excellent today. And you saw it once again. Julius Kunde had excellent defense there. He completely stopped them. But then Diego Carlos decides to get completely knocked off the ball. And that's a simple finish there near post. David De Gea could maybe do better there, but I don't think he can. Now we know that we're good at counterattacks. But Rakitic, what are you doing? You're acting like a 50-year-old man on a cane. You're so slow there, and that could lead to a goal here, and it is. It's four for Athletic Club. Ulias Kunde, I mean, if Ulias Kunde blocked that, that would have been incredible. And he almost did, but Diego Carlos, Navas, whatever, who else has been caught out? And we're down four to two here. Oh my goodness, Gabriel Jesus is one high up the pitch here. Gabriel Jesus has done excellent here. I'm just going to sweat this. I'm going to sweat this like it's foot champs. And Suso sweats it to Oliver Torres. And you got to give the pre-pre-assist to Gabriel Jesus, who won the ball up. And he just completely knocked that guy down as if it was Diego Carlos. Good. Ten other players ahead of him. Gudels, what has he done here? Oh, he went one high up the pitch, though. There's still a chance. Gudels, yet again. Gudels, no, he's missed it. No. He's missed it. Still a chance, maybe. Acuna. Acuna on the inside. Oh, it's a terrible touch, Acuna. No, I ruined it. Oh, my goodness. We had the chances there. Gudelj, man. If that was like Jesus or Torres or Ocampos even, maybe. Oh, that would have gone in. But we suffer a 4-3 defeat here. And once again, the defense just cannot play well. So after that loss to Athletic Club, we find ourselves actually in 6th place, 
but if we were to win this game actually we would actually jump above Villarreal and Athletic Club which will put us right back into the top four I'm gonna bench Fernando and put Goodell's just because the uh, midfield gets a bit tired and we do have Chelsea next so I don't want to risk any stamina issues and I'm going to quick submit as I said and we win 2-0 we have Gabriel Jesus scoring a ninth goal I believe in La Liga this season and Suso coming off the bench and scoring one minute after he comes off so yeah let's we'll go with this team and we did just win against Elsh, but I guess the game that we played earlier in this episode, we lost. And looking at the Chelsea team, it's very similar to real life. It's basically the exact same. You just got Vasquez on the right. No Havertz or Ziyech in sight, but they could be on the bench. You got Kepa and goal, which is interesting. But we're, we're going to get into this one. The big thing about this is we've already qualified for the round of 16, which is good. But this will decide first in the group. And generally, first in the group is better. So let's go and travel to Stamford Bridge and try to make a statement. So here we are at the Stamford Bridge in London, in England, at Chelsea here. It's a big one, it really is, and obviously being first in the group generally sounds better, and it generally is with the draw. Sometimes second in the group actually can be better, but that's very rare. And it's always nice to win, so we're not going to purposely lose this one or anything. Mavurner out to Captain America, they call him. Christian Pulisic, and he's trying to put on some skill moves here, I'm trying to beat Kunde here, I'm going to try to put in a challenge here, and he's not really getting anywhere, but he's putting off the skill moves in, until he passes it to Timo Werner, and he does a quick turn, and he's completely burned me there, oh, what a ball from Timo Werner, Mount is probably through here, oh, he's not, he must not be that fast, which is why I didn't use his speed, but Mount's an excellent there, but Julius Kunde, oh my gosh, he's been turned here, I'm trying to put in a challenge, and... Our defense is so bad when it comes to defending on the counter. Oh my gosh, we have been completely cut open here. Well, it looks like time is expiring here in this one. It looks like we're going to lose 2-0 unless we get maybe a consolation on this attack. And oh my goodness, Yusef and Nasiri. I moved him to striker for just a little bit. And he's actually come up with a spectacular goal here. A great pass from Suso. And wow, that is a really, 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 really good goal. But unfortunately, it won't mean much here as all Chelsea need to do is kick the ball. And they beat us 2-1. to one. So they beat us both times in this group. And they will top the Champions League group and get first. But still good for us. We get second in the group. So we are going to be in the Champions League knockout stages. I quickly want to show you guys the Champions League group, just what happened in every single one. As we know, Chelsea got first in our group and we got second, and we actually have Hercules Almelo going uh, into the Europa League, which is maybe a bit surprising. Let's start from the top here. We got FC Bayern and Atletico Madrid getting first and second as expected, and Salzburg going to the Europa League. We got Real Madrid and Inter expectedly going to the Champions League, and got Gladbach getting Europa League. And then here we have City and Porto expectedly once again going to the Champions League knockouts. And then Olympicos getting Europa League. And got Liverpool and Atlanta here progressing to the knockouts with Ajax in the Europa League. Then we got our group. And then we have, ooh, this is the interesting group. We got Lazio and Club Brugge going to the knockouts. But Dortmund falling to the Europa League. And then we got Barcelona and Piemonte Calcio. Or Juventus going to the knockouts with Alain Jasper going to the Europa League. And then we got PSG and United. Oh my gosh, it's actually interesting. PSG and United advance. But we got Istanbul Baskashir going to the Europa League. And RB Leipzig finished with zero points. Now that's interesting. Everything else seemed normal, but that is interesting. And along with Dortmund going to the Europa League. So we got some interesting stuff there. But either way, we're going to play this one against Villarreal who are currently 6th in La Liga and if we do look at the standings here it's a game where we want to keep winning or and keep pace above these teams and keep pace with you know the teams in the top four but I am making some changes for this and that's going to be on benching Ocampos I am tired of his terrible performances so Suso's coming in and Rakitic has been poor in my opinion so I'm going to play Torres so here we are back in Seville, back in Spain, hosting a La Liga game here in match day number 15 against Villarreal and kickoff has immediately happened here. Here's Gabriel Lezus trying to hold it up for Alejandro Papu Gomez, which he does brilliantly and here goes Alejandro Papu Gomez. Goal for Sevilla. It's been coming here with Alejandro Papu Gomez. He's been getting in behind a lot. Someone was going to score and it, once again, it's the deadly connection of Gabriel Jesus and Alejandro Papu Gomez. Oh, that's a great header there, and I'm trying to play it in. Oh, 
No! Ref! Ref! No! How is that a foul, ref? Oh my goodness, I know sliding in is risky, but look at this! I co completely get the ball! Marino, you stupid diver, man! And he's gonna have a chance here, and here goes Parejo right down the middle, and I cannot do anything about that, and it's 1 1. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? So after that red card to Kunde, I'm going to have to make some changes here. And what I'm basically doing is I'm changing to a 4-4-1. And Fernando's going to be playing center back. Here's his defender, Siri. Gabriel Jesus. We're going to have to be patient. Alejandro Papu Gomez. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. Alejandro Papu Gomez has made it 2-1 to one. in the 74th minute. We've had 10 men. We've been patient. And we have got an unexpected go-ahead goal here. And this is incredible. Bracket it. I'm gonna look for Gabriel Jesus. Oh, what a pass. He's gotta be onside there. Gabriel Jesus could seal this game off. Oh my goodness, he's made it three to one. And we have turned this game around with 10 men. Gabriel Jesus, he's gotten two assists in this game. And now he's gotten a goal and he's made a three to one. That is his 10th La Liga goal of the season. He's in double figures. Rakitic has just come off the bench and he's made an excellent pass. And oh my goodness, what a goal to score. What a good time. So the game comes to an end, and it's 3-1 to one to Sevilla, in a game that we did well in the first half, and then we completely crumbled, and then with 10 men, Alan Papu Gomez and Gabriel Jesus masterclass from both of them. After making a lot of substitutions here because of the Kunde suspension and a lot of games midweek, and given the fact that we have Real Batiste at the weekend, which is a bigger team than Alves for sure, I changed the front three so that Ocampos is on the left, Suso on the right, and Siri back up to striker, which is where he was before Gabriel Jesus. In the midfield, it looks pretty similar. We just got Gudelj in here for Alejandro Papu Gomez. And then in the back, we got Acuna, Diego Carlos, Rekic, Esquardio is going to come in for Navas, and then De Gea is going to stay in goal. And we're going to quick send this one and see how we do. I think on paper, we can definitely win this, but it's FIFA simming. Anything can happen. And we win 3-0 with City scoring a brace, going back to striker, and Ivan Rakic Titch scoring a goal as well. So you guys are going to be getting four games in this episode, which is rare, so this episode might be a bit longer than usual, but the good news is that uh, the rest of the team is fully fit. Kunde is back, which is a good thing to see. Big game here in front of our fans. Let's get into this one. Here we are in Seville. It's a little bit of a foggy day here. It looks like it doesn't look like it's raining yet. But this is going to be our last game that we play in this episode. And actually the last game before we get into the nice winter break and get into the January transfer window. So I think we should give it our all in this game no matter what. Players can be drained down to 0% stamina because they're going to get a nice rest after this. Half an hour in here. No goals have been scored. Maybe we can look for something here. Here's Nasiri! And Yusef! And Nasiri on the corner. I am terrible at corners, but that is an excellent delivery from Ivan Rakitic. And Nasiri being played a striker this game, and he has scored a goal. I don't think that goal really is based upon if he's playing played a striker. But good delivery, good header. I'm not good at headers at all, and I'm actually very proud that I was able to put that one on target, let alone, uh, and it goes into the goal. And Yusuf Enesiri has gotten himself seven quiet goals, you could say, in La Liga, and we lead 1-0 here after half an hour against Real Batiste in Seville. Gabriel Jesus back into the middle. Yusuf Enesiri to Alejandro Papu Gomez. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely brilliant. And we have doubled the advantage here in Seville against Real Batiste. And we lead 2-0 now. Oh my goodness, there is so much space here for Ivan Rakitic. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Ivan Rakitic has got to score this. And Ivan Rakitic has made a 3 Nil and Nasiri has given himself an assist to Ivan Rakitic and it's three. I really would like to keep a clean sheet in this game. That would be like really, really nice. But here goes Nabil Fakir. He's kind of gotten in behind. Kunde going to have to put in a good challenge. Oh, yes, Kunde. That is excellent defending from him. And maybe we can break with this. I'm going to try to play Anasiri, and he's through. Anasiri's through. I think I might go to Gabriel Jesus here. Yeah, I think I will. It'll be easier. And Gabriel Jesus makes no mistake. Taken out by the keeper afterward. Real Batiste are completely annoyed of themselves. And it is 4-0 in this one. Still looking, I'm going to try to whip this ball in. Oh, what a pass there from Yusuf and Nasiri. No! Why is Lucas Ocampos so bad in La Liga? Did you guys see that pass? 
No, I need to show you guys this again. That is such a wasted opportunity. Look at this pass from Yusuf Nasiri. He just decides to like chip this over. Look at that. He just chips that over. What a pass. And Lucas Ocampos, I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's cursed or something, but he just cannot score in La Liga. We keep our clean sheet and win 4-0. So after that game, I simulated all the way to the beginning of the January transfer window. And we do have a few scouting reports here that are very interested. We have a monthly scouting report for Spain. And looking through the players here, we really don't have anyone that I probably want. So we're just going to reject every single one. And then looking here in France, we have Enzo Theobot, which we will take. We also have Nicolas Fernand, who looks pretty good. And we'll get those two players in the Youth Academy. But it is time to promote Javi Valverde to the first team. Here we go. This could be a future prospect for years to come. So I did put um, Javi Valverde on the loan list, and we get a two-year loan for him, which is actually going to be brilliant. So he will be loaned for the next two years, and assuming that he gets playing time and does well, he could come back as a superstar. So we get through a couple more days here, and we got some important messages. Javi Valverde has been loaned out, so he'll be coming back two years from now in January. We could always terminate the loan earlier if we see that he's growing fast, and he could start getting some game time. But a positive thing is that Oliver Torres at 26 has grown three overalls this year, and it is time to change his development plan. But it looks like what I'm going to do is add him to a playmaker, which will get up his weak foot hopefully, and he's done really well this season. Not like superstar wise but he's done well in my opinion now this is interesting i'm not going to decide in this episode but in the next episode you guys are going to figure out what we are doing we are getting a 60 million dollar offer for 45 million dollar valued lucas ocampos and is it time for him to go he has not been great and with this amount of money we could sign a proper attacker in that right side or even another midfielder or defender but in that next episode you guys will learn but that's going to be it in episode number five as i said next episode we'll get to the rest of january and february and you'll learn more about the little compost deal and maybe some january transfer window action but that's going to be it as i said make sure to check the switch down below in the description and the discord and so make sure to subscribe like the video comment and turn on that bell so you don't miss out when i post more but subscribe like the content like the video if you like it because that is what it's for we are currently third place in La Liga. It's looking good. And yeah, I'm just going to keep going to the series every other day, posting as it's been. And I'll see you guys on that next video, which will be episode six. Bye bye